Welcome, my name is Faye B. Bolton and today I'm going to go through the process of publishing a book using the Create Space platform. I will actually be demonstrating publishing a picture book. Okay, so let's get started. Step one, I want you to go to Google and type in the search bar Create Space Book Cover Template. We're going to start with the book cover. Select the first result. Here you'll come to a web page and I want you to choose what it wants to know. Is the interior type? Is the interior going to be full cover or black and white? And you select that from the drop down menu under interior type. Second, you need to select the trim size. This is your actual book dimensions. My picture book was eight and a quarter by eight and a quarter, so I selected that from the drop down menu. And the final one is the number of pages. How many pages will be in your finished book? Select that and then press build the template. I've selected a 32 page picture book. And as you can see, there is no, it's not necessary to have a spine. So I have the front cover of my book. I have the back cover with a description and make sure you leave a white space because that is where create space will print the ISBN number. Okay, so let's go to the next step. Now we need the actual interior of your book. So create space book cover template, type that in the Google search bar again and select the third option. Create space community interior templates and that will bring you to a page that looks like this. On the left, we have templates for novels. On the right, we have templates for picture books. As you can see in the far left, once again, make sure you select the correct trim size for your book, then select the download. As we can see here, the top, on the top, that is a template for a novel already been formatted for you so all you need to do is type in your information on the lower left that is the template for a picture book just fill in replace the text that's already there and start adding your images now we can actually set you an account up at create space so go to createspace.com to sign up for an account once you have your account and in you need to now set up your necessary account information so first of all let's set up the account setting in here fill in as much information as you possibly can with your name contact information etc next you need to set up the royalty payment information where you went them where you want your money going to once you've sold a book once again select your country who is the money is going to be paid to your address also select your if you want to receive checks or if you want to have it directly deposited into your account you can select from the options there uh, I have it going directly to my account so I set up a bank account information with my routing number etc and then last of all make sure you fill in your tax information if you miss this part out, they will send you an email explaining what you need to do as regards filling in your tax information. Okay, next we need now to set, fill in the billing profile. This is important because once you order books through CreateSpace, like ordering a proof, or if you want to order some that you want to take around with you, they need your billing information here. So fill in that credit card or bank account, deposit card information here plus address and other contact information. And make sure you save each time you fill in your, the pages, save it settings. Now we need to fill in the shipping profile. The CreateSpace needs to know where it's going to ship the book to, especially when you have your proof made, it wants to know where you want the proof being sent to. So once again, fill in the necessary information here. Okay, so now we're gonna go through the steps. As you can see, under setup, it starts with title, ISBN, interior, cover, and complete setting. So we're going to go through all of those phases. Now the nice thing is here with CreateSpace, you have the option of the guided tour. 
It's a step-by-step -step process which will help you along the way. I would recommend if it's the first time set up career space to select this one. That way you don't miss anything out. So fill in the project information, what you're going to be uploading to create space. Is it going to be a paperback, an audio CD, an MP3, a DVD, or a video download? And let's get started by selecting Get Started. First of all, you can see from the far left, we're going to choose the title first. So here, fill in the title, fill in if it's got a subtitle, fill in the primary author's name, and then select from the ad as to whether you're going to add an illustrator, a co-author, um, and anybody else that you need to add here. Just You can keep adding as many people as you want. And then if this is going to be a book series, if you're actually going to be uploading, say, four or five books, make sure you collect, fill in here the series title and the number of volumes, volume one, volume two, etc. Select the language the book is going to be in and also if um, what is going to be your publication date here all right and then click save and continue okay now we're on the second one the ISBN number okay the ISBN number is how your book is identified and that's the same some people have the same title as your book so every single book that's been published all is being identified by an ISBN number. That's how they are standard. That's how they actually are uniquely uniquely identified. Okay, so let's get the ISBN number. Now, you have an option within CreateSpace of getting the free one that uh, CreateSpace provides. Then you also have a custom universal ISBN number, which is what I select. The cost is $99. And I'll explain why it's better to do the custom one. The advantage of the custom ISBN number is if you put it on Create Space and you select the free one, you can't sell your book to a publishing house if they want to buy it. If you select a custom, custom ISBN number, that book is yours to put on whatever platform that you like. So if a publishing house does come to you and say they want to buy the rights of your book or series of book, you can sell that book as is. If you chose the free one, you'd have to create a whole new book because CreateSpace owns the book you put on there if you select the free one. That's the difference. And of course, if you have your own ISBN number that you bought from a website, you just put that in under provide your own ISBN number. Okay, and then let's do the next step. So this is what an ISBN number. When uh, CreateSpace gives you the ISBN number, or if you purchase one through CreateSpace, um, it will give you the ISBN number. Make sure you copy that ISBN number and put that on the interior of your book. So on your copyright page, inside your book, copy and paste the ISBN number there. All right? Now, if you want to buy your own ISBN number, you can go to myidentifier.com, get your ISBN number, and this book, uh, that's who actually CreateSpace buys that from. It's just CreateSpace. Uh, if you buy it directly through CreateSpace, you get a little bit of a discount. As opposed to paying $125, you can get it through CreateSpace for $99. If you want to buy um, 10 ISBN numbers, then of course you get a bit of a discount at $295 through Boca and of course if you want to buy a hundred then I've got better accounts but it's up to you if you want to buy from independently from this company or buy through CreateSpace it doesn't really matter it just depends on how many ASP numbers you want to buy okay now we're into a step six which is the interior we've already got the book cover now CreateSpace needs to know once again the size of the book and also what is is it going to be black and white? Are they printing in black and white or full color? So select full color if it's going to be a picture book. And it will select white. You can't use cream for picture books. You can use cream paper for black and white for novels, but not for picture books. You only can use white. And then make sure you choose a different size. This is the actual interior, how it's going to look. 
mine is eight and a quarter so i click on choose a different size a box will open and then select from the different size here so once you've selected that what you need to do now is actually upload the interior of your book you already had your templates you put your content information on there and now we're going to upload it into create space ready for printing just click on the interior file or upload a book select upload your book file click on the browser it will open up files on your computer select which files you want to upload to be converted into a book and then click save now files for interior can be either be a PDF a, or a doc or an RTF they do actually have set a couple of choice uh, I just want to demonstrate here this is the this is what I send my illustrator when I'm wanting to do illustrations for me. I just do six stick figures and uh, just write on the description of how I want my illustrations to look. And it's very simple if you work with an illustrator. Give them this information, tell them what you want in the illustrations, and then you'll end up with a result like this. So this is the actual layout of my picture book, The Waffle Hoffers. These are several of the pages that will be uploaded to create space. So this is my file I'm uploading to create space. This is what's going here. So this is browse. This is what I'm uploading to create space. All right. Now we're going to, we've already got the template for the book cover. Now we need to decide in step seven, do we want the book cover to be a matte finish? or a gloss you have the choice there now if you haven't had your book cover designed you still haven't selected one create space can as a you can actually build your own book cover template using create space so you can build your cover online so let me show you that these are the these are just a few of the options for already made templates through create space what you do here, you'll choose as to which one you like for your book, making sure the size is correct. Let's say make just double check the size is what you want your finished result to be. And then where the text is, you just replace that with your own. Now, you can, if you haven't got a cover yet for your book, uh, Create Space does offer that service. So you can click on the professional cover design. Now they actually charge their starting price for them to design a book cover starts at $3.99 so that's up to you and what you do there you just fill in your information and also a brief description as to what your book is about so it gives them some idea as to how to design your book what uh, to put pictures and things to put on your book which you were there now I actually had my own cover designed as you saw so I'm going to click on upload a pre-ready PDF a file so my book cover I created I added on to Word and I converted it from Word to a PDF so I will now click browse and I will upload my cover to create space this is my PDF version and this is what I'm uploading to create space now we're actually on the complete setup because we've gone through title ISBN interior cover so now we're on complete setup. Just check here that everything is complete. The name, the title of your book, your ISBN number, the book size, just make sure that's correct. If everything looks correct, submit your file for review. Once everything is complete and everything looks so create space, we'll send you an email to say the next step in the publishing process is to prove your book. And then just click on Follow this link to get started. Okay, so now we're going through step 10, which is proof your book before publishing. You can actually view a digital proof. I usually do this first, just to make sure everything's laid out. If something's not quite laid out, if my font's a little low or our picture's a little off, you can change it in your Word where you've created it and then upload again to create space. And you can do this as many times as need be until when you view it digitally, it looks perfect. And let's say this is what looking at a proof looks like in a PDF format. 
So you can click on here, see the view of the pages and make sure everything looks laid out properly. Now, if everything looks fine, I recommend getting an actual book itself. That way you can hold it in your hands, make sure everything looks great. The colors have come through properly. So I do recommend ordering actual a book proof. So click on order a printed proof. It will cost you, Amazon will tell you, I'm sorry, CreateSpace will tell you how much it costs to print out your book. My picture book was 60 pages, so it cost me $5.05 .05 print out a copy of my book. So they will charge me $5.05 plus $3.99 for shipping to order a proof. So I've actually ordered my proof. They will send it in the mail and usually it comes pretty quickly. Once I've received my proof and everything looks wonderful, the next step to do, they'll send you an email. When I've received my book in the mail and everything looks exactly as I wanted it to look, step 11 is actually approve your proof. And all you need to do here is click on approve and your book will be approved. Now, the next step is, step 12, is to write your book description. This is now getting the page ready on Amazon so people can come along and buy your book. So you need to fill in the information here. That way it's, if people don't just see your book, they actually will have a book description, which will entice them to actually buy the book. So here, fill in the description of your book, what your book's about, you also need to choose here the basic, the category. So what category will your book come under? Is it fiction? Is it juvenile? They'll actually, when you click choose, a little pop-up window opens and you can select from there. Select the reading level that your book is catered towards. Also, I recommend here filling a little bit of an autobiography of yourself. Select what language the book's going to be in, which country, and then you uh, create space allows you to add five key words to help optimize your book in the search engines. Once you have that information entered in there, then click save and continue. Now save is the pricing. This is where you can choose what price you wish to sell your book. Create space will actually tell you what the minimum cost is that they advise you. So minimum list price, for this title, they advise me for a 60 page book, they advise me to not sell it any less than $8.42. I selected for now for $12.95, and on the right you can see what my royalties would be. So once sold on Amazon, I would get $2.72 in royalties through a Kindle format, the CreateSpace e store, I would get $5.31. And of course, through Amazon Europe, of course, you see it's, it's two pounds and eight pennies. And Amazon Europe, well, it's uh, 289. So it actually displays it. So every time you change the price here, you can put whatever price you want. It will cal plus calculate, and it will calculate what you will receive as regards royalties. So make sure you click save and continue. Now, Step 14, select the distribution channel. This is what CreateSpace does for you for free. They've actually improved now their actually distribution. So not only will you get your book listed on Amazon, so you get on Amazon, Amazon Europe, CreateSpace eStore, they also now have free expanded distribution. It will be bookstore and online retailers, libraries and academic institution, and create space direct select that what you do here is just check each one for where you want your distribution of your book to be and as you can see there's my book listed on amazon and also my book is listed on barnes and nobles and create space did that for me so i hope this has been helpful if you have any questions about publishing a book on create space you can contact me through support at faybbolton.com uh, if you want to learn more about publishing on create space or actually on a fiction writing itself you can go to my website at faybbolton.com you can also find me on facebook linkedin youtube and on twitter so i hope you'll contact with me and i hope we can stay connected and uh, 
good luck. Have you any questions? Feel free to contact me. Thank you. This has been Fabi Bolton. Thanks.